Hi friends, I am Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see a various inbuilt function available with Mule SB for transforming the message. So like when we are performing the transformation, we require a lot of functions. Like uh, for example, uh, if you you know like uh, you want to you know lower your string before sending to the destination, you want to split the you know like string before sending to the destination even like you want to convert your date into some specific format before sending to the destination so there are various functions inbuilt functions available with new usb which is very helpful while performing the transform message so we will see one by one so okay so what i will do i will create a new application i will say file new new project i will say transform message Okay, for runtime I will keep, uh, select 3.8 only. In your environment there can be multiple runtime. You can select depending on your choice. Test of the setting I will not going to touch. I will simply click on finish. Okay. First thing what I will do I will drag and drop transform message into the message canvas. Okay. Now I want to see I have a one JSON message. But if you want to read a particular you know message. A particular the, like uh, segment from the JSON message. Like I want to read this only. In okay, customers, we want to send this only to the destination. We don't want to send this. Okay, so we have to use the indexers. So how can we use the indexers? We will going to show in this demo. And okay, first we have to define the metadata. I will say add. I will say input. Create type. Now I will say this JSON example. I will say desktop. I will go to, this is my JSON message. I will just select. Okay. So I will say so click on this preview. Here I can say we load the root in. Let me remove this curly bit. I can say payload dot people. Okay, people is the main root tag. Then I can say first value, the first segment. See, you can see near. This is in the, the collection format. I will remove. I will change it to JSON. See, if you want to change it to XML. Okay, okay. XML will not because we have to do some transform. I will keep it JSON. So payload dot people zero to JSON. I will say one. So it will read the first value, second value. Okay, that's how you can make use of your index. Now, what I will do? I will clear the metadata. We will see some examples now. So let me put my brackets once again. Now we are going to see some array. Like I have this array one. Comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five. So if you go to preview, you can see your array. I want to add some value into array, so you can use plus six. So it will going to add a sixth value. If you want to remove some value from the array, I say minus five. So it will remove the minus. It will remove five from your array. Let me add some more value to the array. I will say ten, twenty. If you want to find max value from the array. Fine. So there is a max function you can use. So you can find the max value. 20. Same thing mean. See, you can find the mean value. Now, if you want to add the all the element in the array, so you have to make use of reduce function. So we will say reduce dollar dollar plus dollar. So it will add all the value. 45. So dollar dollar is an accumulator where dollar, single dollar is a value. Okay. Now we have gone through max value, mean value. Okay. Now what? Just a minute. Uh, now I will take some other example. So we will see some date, uh, date time available with the new date time functions. So I will say a equals to now. So it will give a now date. What is the current date and time? So nine o'clock. It will give a second. Okay. 
I will say now dot days. So what is today's date? 27. If I want month, I can say month. It's a fourth month. If you want year, say now dot year. Fine. If you want minutes, say minutes. So it will give nine o'clock in zero minutes. That is correct. Now second. See five seconds. Again, I will say minute. Last time it came as zero. It should one now. Then aha, it should be nine. Right? But you have a date time in format to y y y y m m d d d. But you want in some other format. So first thing you have to convert into string. For that you use the as string. Now you want to format it. So curly bracket. I will say format. Let me maximize this format. I will say I want date in DD MM YY. See, you can see the date in the DD MM YY format. You want hours minutes also. So I will say R MM. See, it's 9 1. If you want seconds also, you can say second. Right? Now, I have one more thing price. So I have price in this format. You want like price in some specific format, so I can see I can convert into string. You can say format. You can say hash, hash, comma hash. If you get the time, but you miss the decimal. But I want decimal up to two. So you can see 57. If you want more, you can add more hash. Sorry. This is how you can format your string, your date time. Okay. Now we will see some more functions. Uh, let me. Okay. So we will see the camelize function. So you have a string. I have a string like customer. You have a. Uh, I have to put the comma here. Customer name. See, I have a customer. Now you want to camelize in a camelize format. If you want in camelize format, so you can use a camelize function. See your all the value has been camelized. See, customer address is starting with capital B. Customer N is starting with a capital letter. Right? Okay. So we will going to see some more function join by, split by. Okay. Now I have an array. One comma. If you I want to join this array, so we have a function called join by. You can use some symbol. Array has been joined by. If you want some other symbol, you can use this. Okay, and you cannot use the dollar. I can use other hash. You it has been joined by hash. Okay, now I have a one string like one, two, comma, four, comma, five. If you want to split, I will say split by. It has already split, but I want to split by this this sign. Okay, so you can see your string has been splitted. Okay. 
So these are the very useful function and you require those in your daily use when you are doing the transform message. So hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks for watching video.